Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to your reading for April 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general reading, yes? So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, you can get a reading from me. Just check out the description box below where you will find all of the readings that I offer plus my email address. If you cannot choose which reading you would like to order, then just let me know about what the situation is and I will help you decide, yeah? A quick announcement. Um, I will be at Awaken Fair this year on the 28th of April, and that is in Tarrytown, New York, in Westchester County. So if you are in the New York, the, the New York Metro, the, the tri-state area, um, if you would be, especially if you're in Westchester and you would like to book a personal, private session with me um, at Awaken Fair, you can check out the link in the description box below that will take you to the uh, pre-booking service that they offer. Um, time slots are 15 or 30 minutes and pre-booking does end on the 27th. Yes. But also if you don't pre-book and you do want to get a reading with me, you can come during the afternoon session. It, uh, it is a Sunday, uh, April 28th from I believe 10 to 5 and so during the afternoon session is when it's open for you know people to come on in and um, get a session then but if you would like to uh, book pre-book check out that link yeah okay doing it just like I did last month it seemed to work out well so I'm going to continue doing it because also I like having conversations with you guys yes so um I am pulling a oracle card first to get a theme for your month from the Unicorn Oracle, and then I'm using the Golden Universal Tarot as the general energies for the rest of the reading. Yeah? So let's get started, Gemini. Let's see what we got for you. <laughs> Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for April 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, I'm not. I'm. I'm just gonna get straight to it, Gemini. Uh, as I as I was um, channeling the energy and like praying over the cards just now, I got for eight. Once I said April, I got a flash of pink, uh, unconditional love, compassion, forgiveness, healing potentially. Uh, maybe there is some potential for some sort of reconciliation for you guys. Oops, let's try that again. And that doesn't even have to be with another person. Um, this could just be reconciling within your own self, yeah? Giving yourself some divine, unconditional love, some compassion and that kind of stuff, which is really nice. I mean, you deserve it, right? Why not? Absolutely, Gemini. Geminis tend to get a little bit of a bad rap sometimes, but you know what? It's okay. All right, one more shuffle for you, Gemini, and then we'll see what the overall theme of your month is, yes? Alrighty. Best message, please, Spirit. Overall mess, uh, overall uh, theme for Gemini for the month of April. Okay. All three of you guys that I've done today, I did Aries and Taurus, and now I'm doing Gemini, and it's taking a second to get your theme for the month, but that's all right. We're going to stick with it. The theme for Gemini for April 2019. For Gemini. There it is. All right. Your theme for the month is beloved. Oh. Prepare for your life partner. Romance is returning to your relationship. Believe you are lovable. So this is definitely a reconciliatory energy. So if you're in a relationship someone with someone right now and it's been a little rocky, I do feel like chances of reconciling are pretty good. Yeah? Over this coming month, the spring season. Um, I mean, spring is a time of renewal. Definitely a time of love. Some of you could be meeting your partner. Someone could be crossing paths with a potential life partner. Also, though, this is definitely some reconciliation within the self. Believing that you are lovable. Well, that is quite beautiful, Gemini. I'm going to give this one more shuffle for you. And then we'll see what we have. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Boop. 
Overall energy for you, Gemini. We have Three of Cups, Union, Celebration, Reconciliation, even. Mm hmm. Three of Cups, Page of Swords. Okay. The Five of Cups, yep. And the Empress is underneath that. Now, the Page of Swords, I do see this as your energy. Either the Page or the Knight, okay? It can, for me, it, it's either way. Um, but yeah, there's definitely some um, healing that's happening here after some sort of heartbreak. Um, this could have been a fight. Some, some real pettiness may have happened between you and someone else. Um, and... Okay, because I'm looking at the Knight of Swords, and I keep see, I keep hearing reconciliatory energy. So there could be a conversation that happens that helps you guys heal, reconcile, put something in the past. Yes, which is beautiful. And there's a celebration at hand with the Three of Cups. Okay, Five of Cups, and you see, look, at, it's so interesting. Look, this in the Five of Cups here, you have the three cups that have spilled over, but you still have those two cups that are there, right? The Two of Cups can represent a relationship. Um, it can represent a union within, right? And we do have this beloved card, which is at the is your overall theme for the month. Okay, so you really could be reconciling with yourself or with someone else that either helps you guys rekindle your relationship or helps you to rekindle your belief in yourself that you are lovable. And you have the Empress here. The Empress is like is the queen of all queens. She's the ultimate mother. She's very loving. She's very caring. And she represents abundance. So regardless of what may have happened between you and someone else that you might be reconciling with, this Empress card here is representing the abundance that is flowing, that is giving you the opportunity to reconcile no matter what happened. Okay. And it could have been pretty petty with this page of swords here. Okay. That's a really great start so far, Gemini. First set of surrounding energies for you. Oh, oh wait, before I go any further, I just I do want to um, uh, uh, clarify this a little bit. Uh, I have been calling this the first half of the month, the second half of the month. You can look at it that way. If it resonates for you in that way, then take it as it resonates. But it doesn't have to be that way, guys, okay? Time is an illusion. So, And the energies are fluid. So this could just be like a big old swirly, whatever, you know, whatever. Take it as it resonates. Okay, I just wanted to say that before I go any further. First set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, you've got death. Scorpio energy, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, but also this is transformation. Maybe the death of some old situation between the two of, between the two of you, you and someone else, or it could have even been a group of you, yes? Um, death of an old way of being also. Maybe if someone was really immature and petty, maybe they've learned the lesson and now they're starting to grow up a little bit or learning to communicate it more effectively, that kind of energy, okay? But it's definitely putting whatever is going on here to rest. There is a lot. I just keep hearing reconciliatory energy for you guys. There's a lot of reconciliation in the air for you, Gemini. Death is coupled with the Four of Swords. Yes, see, a change in perspective is what brought on or is what's bringing on this transformation. Someone finally maybe started to see something differently or maybe not finally, but now they are, they, something happened where they, they're seeing something differently. Maybe the fact that you, there was some time and some space, some distance, uh, a separation between you and this person that you may be reconciling with um, uh, that has helped you guys Rest and cool down a bit if it was like a really heated situation, very drama, dr very dramatic. Um, but it's helped you both gain some sort of new perspective or it's helped someone gain some new perspective that is facilitating this transformation here, okay? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Gemini, we've got the High Priestess. Uh, Pisces energy, I believe. 
The High Priestess talks about secrets, yes, but she also talks about secrets of the universe, and I do feel like someone has really... Someone has really learned something here, has uncovered some, some sort of secret or has discovered something that has helped them change, shift, adjust. And if this is reconciling within yourself, then this is definitely you getting some sort of secrets about the universe, from the universe, or about yourself, from your higher self, or something like that. The high priestess, priestess can represent downloads from the universe that are helping you shift your perspective, change the way you see yourself, re help you reconcile with yourself, yes? The High Priestess is coupled with the King of Swords, Clarity. This could be you, Gemini, as this is the, this does represent the air signs, but it also could be an Aquarian specifically, or maybe even another Libra, but um, the kings are fixed, and so within their suits, they represent the fixed aspect of that suit uh, or that sign, that element. And in this case, that would be Aquarius. But it, does, it doesn't even have to be that. It could be any different sign. But also, what this is really saying is speaking to clarity. Even peace of mind with this Four of Swords that's right next to it. I just heard jumping to conclusions. Is someone maybe jumping to conclusions or someone may have recognized that they were prone to or had a habit of jumping to conclusions? Maybe that's something that they learned from. Okay. Your challenge in the first half of this reading here, you've got... Whoa! The counterpart! The Queen of Swords. Libra energy. Again, it also could be another Aquarius or another Gemini. But the challenge here is to literally, now that you've gained some sort of clarity, or now that someone has gained some sort of clarity, now to cut out whatever it is that's no longer serving you. You have a lot of air energy in your spread so far, which makes great sense, perfect sense. I mean, you are an air sign, Gemini. Trimming the fat with the Queen of Swords. Again, now that you now that either you or someone else has the clarity, now it's time to take some action and cut some things out. That could also be cutting out the drama between you and someone else, i.e. reconciling, right? Okay, Queen of Swords is coupled with woo, the Nine of Swords. Oh, but there's still some anxiety about this. It's almost like the action of making some sort of change, maybe even opening up, uh, communicating, maybe the thought of reconciling is giving you anxiety. Maybe not understanding how someone would react. Maybe you want to reach out and reconcile with someone, but they may you're afraid they may queen of swords you and just be like, fuck off. I don't want to talk to you or I have no intentions of dealing with you or something like that, you know? I mean, take it as it resonates. But what, I mean, to me, what this is saying is there's anxiety surrounding act, the actual the action of removing some sort of, cutting something out, uh, reconciling, uh, cutting out the drama, clearing the air, clearing the space, whatever. Okay. And honestly, when it comes to that, all you can do really is just try. And if they choose not to be receptive to it, then that's on them. You tried. That's that's really that's all you can do. Yeah? Your closing message or the potential outcome in the first half of your reading here for the month of April, you've got the Knight of Pentacles. Slow and steady wins the race. You could be dealing with an Earth sign. But slowly rebuilding, whether that is with this new person, with this person that you're reconciling with, or within yourself, after have after reaching some sort of clarity, now rebuilding the relationship piece by piece, brick by brick, day by day, mile by mile, right? But doing it right, because part of the reason why the Knight of Pentacles moves so slowly is because he doesn't want to have 
to do something over. Like, he doesn't want to get to his destination to find that something wasn't done correctly to have to double back to fix it. No. He wants it done right, and he wants it done right the first time. Very perfectionistic, okay? So try and avoid any sort of perfectionistic um, tendencies here. No one is perfect. No relationship is perfect, okay? But you can slowly work on rebuilding things, yeah? Knight of Pentacles is coupled with the Two of Swords. Interesting, Gemini. There is a need for mental balance here, okay? Also, you may have to trust your intuition in circumstances where you may not necessarily be able to see as clearly as you would like to. But there is a, a for some of you, for those of you that are reconciling within yourselves, you are advised to keep a um, um, mental balance, and that's going to help you to rebuild. Okay, for others of you that are reconciling with other, like another person, um, again, mental balance is needed here. And also, you may not be able to see the road ahead of you. You may not be able to see how things are going to work out, how you're going to be able to rebuild with the person, but that's okay. Take it as it comes, right? Okay. Getting into the second half of your reading here, first set of surrounding energies, Nine of Cups. Excellent. Satisfaction. I like it. Yeah, satisfaction. Nine of Cups is coupled with... Ooh! The Eight of Swords. But you see here, I really feel like this satisfaction comes from cutting yourself out of some sort of mental prison. And that really could be reconciling with yourself, i.e. beloving you, uh, I'm sorry, not beloving, believing you are lovable, right? That's where the satisfaction comes from. Second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading. The King of Cups. Emotional responsibility, emotional maturity. More Scorpio energy. You really could be dealing with a Scorpio. Or it could be another water sign. Pisces or Cancer. But that, I, I, honestly, I really feel like that's where most of the... Um, the energies of this mental prison have come into play. Not taking responsibility, not being emotionally, uh, not being mature, emotionally mature about something. Not taking responsibility for your own actions or your own part in the situation is the biggest thing that's coming through here, okay? But with the King of Cups here, I do feel like you are doing that or someone is doing that, okay? King of Cups is coupled with, yeah, look at that, the star. More Aquarian energy, but healing and wish fulfillment. I mean, you've got two cards of wish fulfillment. You've got monetary in the Nine of Cups, and you've got ultimate wish fulfillment in the star. But you also have healing with the star, okay? Uh, it's it's sometimes it's really surprising although when you think about it it shouldn't be all that surprising but it can be really surprising how far being emotionally mature or taking responsibility for your own actions will get you not just in life but with other people in some situations like with this one it feels like what what, what was really needed all along was for both parties to be like okay I messed up here, I messed up here, I probably should have done this differently, blah, blah, blah. But again, Spirit's just saying reconciliation. That's what reconciliation is, right? It's really beautiful, Gemini. That's really, really awesome. Your challenge, <coughs> excuse me, your challenge in the second half of your reading here, you've got the Hermit. Virgo energy, you could be dealing with a Virgo. But the challenge is being honest with yourself. So for some of you, 
this energy of uh, emotional responsibility is a little bit of a challenge. It could be something that you are working on over the month of April. Now, energies are fluid, guys, okay? So just because this is coming through in the month of April does not mean that this is absolutely going to happen in April. But it does kind of feel like it's going to kickstart, you know? Some of these energies are going to get start flowing in April, which is ultimately going to lead to some of this stuff. So with the Hermit here, there is some soul searching. There's some inner... There's some deep inner work that needs to happen here. Potentially in order for someone to be able to look at the situation and see what they did wrong. Wrong, right? And like my very dear friend Betsy of Fearless Intuition reminded me yesterday, one of my favorite phrases is that there is no such thing as right or wrong. It's all just experience and perception and learning. And actually that, I'm glad I said that because now that I think about it, that might be something that someone needs to hear in order to be able to face whatever demons they've got going on. We don't have the devil. We have the um, the hermit here, but that's what spirit was saying. Those, those were the words that were coming out there. There are some demons that need to be faced. Some inner childhood wounds, I just heard. Some inner core wounds, childhood wounds that need to be faced in this situation. But ha that kind of has to be done on an individual basis first so that someone can be able to um, handle it or approach it and then it can be spoken of with someone else, right? Okay. The Hermit is coupled with the King of Pentacles, Taurus energy or Virgo or Capricorn earth sign but honestly it doesn't have to be an earth sign it can be any sign because what the king of pentacles especially coupled with the hermit is saying here is greater manifestation of yourself um truth and honesty integrity commitment these are all things that the king of pentacles stands for so that is that's what will be coming through in doing this inner digging okay this soul searching Greater authenticity. There we go. Yep. Okay, your closing message or potential outcome here, Gemini, in the last half of your reading. Four of Pentacles. Are you holding on to something? The Four of Pentacles can speak to the fact that you might need to release something, so I do see that some of you could be finally releasing something. Burying the hatchet. The Four of Pentacles can also talk about foundation, too. Okay, Four of Pentacles is coupled with... Yep, it's totally about release, because you have the Fool here. Okay, so releasing the burdens, letting go of the situation, and starting anew. Now, for some of you, because I just, I literally, I just saw this. For some of you, this can be... Maybe, you know, with this Queen of Swords and the Nine of Swords energy, maybe you do approach this person that you're trying to reconcile with and they don't take it well or they don't handle it well or they don't respond well and you just got to kind of drop it and move on. Solo. You know? And that's not a bad thing. Uh, we have free will here, okay? So anybody can react in any way they choose at any moment, given moment of time, right? Right? But that's okay. I'm hearing bury the hatchet. As long as you're able to release and let it go, you're fine. You're not karmically bound to it. But you have to release and let go with love, okay? And compassion. Allow them to go on their way and you can go in your way. There's nothing wrong with that. Again, there is no such thing as right or wrong, okay? And also, if you're if you're reconciling with yourself, obviously you're starting to let go of some of the some of the thoughts, the beliefs, the emotions that you might have been hoarding over this lifetime, maybe even over past lifetimes, which is freeing you up to be much lighter, to just jump off a cliff. <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyway, there you have it, Gemini. I hope that was helpful for you. Thank you for tuning in. Again, if you would like a look into your own personal situation, go ahead and email me and I'll get you all set up. 
And if you would like to book a session, either 15 or 30 minute session with me at Awaken Fair in Tarrytown on April 28th, you can use the link in the description box below to pre-book your session. Yes, much love to you guys. I hope you have a great April and I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of May. Yeah, take care. Mwah! Bye.